Hey, what is going on everybody? Out here for another ride once again. Uh, with, with the way the weather is going today, I couldn't uh, really do what I wanted to, so. So as you can see, it's, it's uh, we're, we're gonna be getting some rain fairly soon here, probably within the next hour, so. I, I at least wanted to get out and, and get something recorded. So, uh, quick update on the bike and, and the rust issue I'm having with it. Uh, I did take it to the dealer on Monday. The service, um, uh, words, the service manager, there we go. He was not in, so I actually ended up having to go back. Uh, I went back on Wednesday. He had to take pictures of it, send it to the Suzuki rep. Uh, so that did happen. So the pictures got pictures were taken. It was sent to the rep. So now it's just waiting to hear back, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, service manager's on vacation for the next two weeks. So I'm guessing probably three weeks till I hear anything back about what's gonna happen. I mean, they're they're trying to do what they can, trying to help me out. Although uh, a couple of the people I talked to, they were like, "Yeah, you know, I I treat my bike like a shitter gremlin, and you know, they they don't wash them. They don't ever wash them. It's all just ah, uh, just wipe it down." And which I understand makes sense, but at the same time, I'm just kind of like, "Yes, I I get that, but." I, I like to wash my stuff. I like to keep it clean. Sometimes, if you've ever had to try to scrub bugs off, it's sometimes it's just easier to hit it with a pressure washer real quick and and be done with that because whatever's left after that isn't going to take much to come off. So, so there's that. Um, so that's the update on the rust. I'm I'm just waiting to hear back and we'll find out what happens. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, I couldn't get out and do what I wanted to today. Uh, a little hesitant about going there with the weather, so that'll have to wait hopefully next weekend. I mean, the weather is looking good, but you know how weather changes. Especially when, when you're looking at the forecast for a week out, it, it, there's absolutely no telling what's going to happen. So. so there's that, and oh, I'm going to see if I can let this car behind me get in front of me because wow you, you just you have to see it so there's that uh, another thing I wanted to talk about um, it, it is Labor Day weekend uh, be be real real careful if you're going out and doing stuff I, I had a couple of close calls yesterday with people that not paying attention um, they, they get kind of bad, especially around the holidays. I, I don't know if they were drinking and driving or, or what, but just be real careful if you're out and, you know, again, make sure you're actually paying attention because things can happen real fast. So... So other than that, uh, not much new, not much has changed. We're just rocking out on the good old SV650 here. Love the way this thing sounds. Sounds so good. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting the highway in a minute up here, so. We'll, we'll get some of that good sound. All right, so this is the car that was behind me. Look at that Yaris. A Yar I mean, really, you got a tow hitch on there? What in the world could you, could you possibly be towing with a Yaris? Nothing. What's the tow rating on it? 500 pounds? Like, it, really, you, you couldn't even tow this bike on a trailer with that thing. I, I, I don't know. It might be like 1,500 or something, but I, I doubt that. But still, that is just why. And you got to love the big wing, too. The red front, gray back. I don't know if, if it picked it up, but uh, he, he did have light pods on it as well. So, there, there was that. Oh, that just made my day. 
That is freaking hilarious. I saw him go by earlier too, and I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to uh, be able to catch up to him, but... But lo and behold, it was a thing for that car to be captured on camera. So, yep, there's that. Um, also, I'm uh, thinking about, I'm tossing around the idea, I'm, I'm kind of looking at vehicles. Um, I mean, they, they'll be one next year, uh, regardless of what I do. There, there will be another one. But there, there will be another Mini. Hopefully it's going to be a stick this time. Uh, we've got one right now. It's a 2020 20 Cooper S. It's got the 7-speed dual clutch in it. It's a quick car. Uh, not fast by any means. It is quick. But it, it is just so ridiculously fun to drive. And the fact that you can actually drive it and get on it without like immediately going to jail is, is great. So if, if, if you're you know anyone's thinking about looking for something that's that's fun to drive i would recommend checking out a mini cooper it's great gets like 30 miles to the gallon everywhere uh if, if you're nice to it you could do better depending on how you drive on the highway you could do better so so yep yeah, there's that and um yeah uh, again, there will be one coming in the future. Um, hopefully, I can get a review of that. We were actually looking at them yesterday. I mean, obviously, the dealer was closed, but we happened to drive by, and I just cruised through the lot just to see what they happen to have in, in stock. And... happen to have one so we, we might cruise down there and uh, see if see what we can do with the one we got but I don't know if, if that's actually going to be able to happen um, the the weather actually for the next couple days I think until Wednesday around here it's looking like total crap it's gonna start raining like I said in a little bit see it's, it's great over this way but if you can see behind me in the mirror it is not looking nice that way so it's gonna be raining until Tuesday uh, I think they're saying we're, we're gonna get a couple inches I think two to three inches of rain over the next three days two and a half days whatever so so that's you know not ideal for riding so I'm usually I do these vlogs on a Monday and I not gonna get a chance to tomorrow so that's why I'm out this is kind of a, a last minute let me just throw something together and see what happens so yep uh, I think that's actually gonna do it that's gonna be it for today uh, I don't know what's gonna be up first either this video or I'm actually gonna have one um, if you look at some of the other videos I posted I did one of a uh, computer case with Leon Lee I'm actually going to be putting that up uh, I'm going to be doing that when I get home so that video will be up within either today or tomorrow so again I don't know what's going to be up first but if this is up first check it out if, if my PC video is up first uh, feel free to check that out if you're interested in, in some PC stuff. I already did the unboxing of it, so I, I finally got it together. And, and yeah, finally gonna get my video posted for that. So, so yeah, I think that's actually gonna do it for today. And uh, hope everyone has an absolutely fantastic Labor Day weekend. Hope your weather's gonna be better than it is here. And yeah i'll keep you posted on the rust now as soon as i hear something and until then have a good one and i'll see you next time peace out
up in the neck. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't like you, Hyundai. Yep, because you're an idiot. I'll, I'll have to put that in. See if I can just chop out that little bit and add that. Really, kind of hope that, uh, that you can see that in the mirror. This is another thing people are horrible with traffic circles, nobody knows how to use them properly. It, come on. People make me nervous. to two people in the way yeah uh, come on come on with it man One thing I hate when your nose starts itching. Because there's not much you can do about it. Oh, what are these people doing? What, like, what is going on? Why does everyone keep getting in the, the left lane? And I got no problems with it, but I'm still stuck behind these slow people. Don't understand. 
don't understand. Oh, check out the hawk. 